G'day and welcome to another lesson. This video just got video bombed by an ant. <laughs> oh, there he goes, bye. In this lesson, we will learn how to make some easy peasy barefoot sandals. They are great for a beginner and don't use up very much yarn at all. So let's get started on the lesson. For our project we're going to need some yarn. I've got some 8 ply yarn, that's equivalent to sports weight or double knit yarn in the UK. You're going to need a crochet hook that goes with your yarn. Your yarn label will sh should tell you what size hook that you need. For the 8 ply we need about a, a 4mm or a 4.5mm which is about a size G. You're going to need a needle with a very large eye and a pair of scissors. What we want to do first is make a slip knot. There are plenty of different ways to do your slip knot. One of the easiest ways I've found is to lay your yarn like that. Cross it over like so. Grab the loop and then place it over the main strand and pull up like so. There's plenty of different ways to do that. What we're going to do is we're going to chain 70 chains. going underneath the yarn with the hook and pull through so the yarn is going over the top, the hook is going underneath and pull through. We're going to keep doing that until we have 70 chains and as I say here's one I prepared earlier so you may want to pause the video now so that you can do your 70 chains Once we have our 70 chains, we are going to skip 10 chains and then single crochet into the next stitch. We do not count the stitch that's on our hook. Number 1, 2, 3, 4. And what we're doing is counting the bumps on the top. So there's 1, 2, so there's 1 there, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and we're going into the next stitch. Making sure the yarn's got some tension. We're going to single crochet into that stitch. We're going to go under the two loops. See how there's one there and one there. We're going to go underneath those two and single crochet. So let's pull through and then pull through two. Going into the next stitch, working a, slip st uh, a single crochet into the next one, single crochet. And of course, you can adjust the amount of chains that you stitch if you need a smaller or bigger hole and also the amount of stitches that we work along here you can change that amount as well so depending on if it's for an adult with a larger foot or it's for a child you can adjust that amount So we've got, and to count the stitches, see how there's a little V here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Seven. And the, the first row is always the hardest to do in any project. Because you haven't got much to hang on to and it's a little bit fiddly. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And of course, if you change the amount of stitches, just write it down so that you know for your next one that you've got to make. There we go. So, because we 
did 10 stitches and we skipped roughly about 10 stitches we're going to make so we started with 70 so take away 10 is 60 take away 10 is 50 so now we're going to make a chain of 50 and with this kind of project you can just chain along until it looks like it's the same size you don't really have to count it but I am actually going to count my stitches so keep going until your chain is the same amount as those or about the same length and when we get to the end we're going to cut off our yarn and then just pull through like so pull tight and then we're just going to get the ends and we're going to make sure that our little tails here are the same length and that's it I think that's a really easy project perfect for beginners and if you aren't a beginner it's a very quick project so thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed that video please share your creations on our Facebook page as we love to see everybody's creations over there please subscribe as there will be plenty of more videos to come and I hope you liked the video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and until next time happy crochet